Hi everyone. Hi guys. So. <laughs> oh my god. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I told you guys in my last video that that was probably going to be one of the last videos filmed on this camera. And I was right, my camera came in not too long ago. I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like me to unbox this. I know people are kind of like feeling, you know, I don't know, both ways about unboxing. They might be kind of boring for you guys. But a lot of people said, like 80% of you guys said that they would be into it, that you would be into it, whatever. So today I'm going to unbox my brand new camera for you guys. So the first thing, I just got the furry windshield for the microphone, which is inside of the box as well. So this is called a dead cat, which I just think is so hilarious. It just slips over my microphone to help reduce wind noise and stuff. I don't know, I'll have to test it out. I don't really know if you're supposed to like use this just normally, like when I'm filming videos and stuff, or if it's just for when you're outside. I don't really know, but I thought it would be a good idea to have one because I hate wind noise. It drives me crazy. So here's what I got. This is the box, and this is what's inside of it right here. So I got the T5i with a Rode mic. It was a combo. I will try to find this exact combo on Amazon and list it down below if any of you guys are interested because it was a really, really good deal. So I actually ended up having a gift card um, for referrals for Octoly for like almost $500 so I ended up only paying like $200 out of pocket for this camera and the microphone which I just think is an incredible deal and it comes with the lens too so let me just stop talking and get into it so this is what was inside so I have these two separate parts and I'm gonna open it up and try to so first thing that I pulled out of this box is the most boring piece of them all. It's just an SD card. But again, like, that's a pretty good value to have a 32 gigabyte. These are probably about 20 bucks or so to buy, so I don't mind getting that for free. I can never have enough of these. I'm always running out of them. Then here is the microphone. So this is the Video Mic Go Rode. I think this is one of the cheapest, maybe the cheapest shotgun mic that Rode offers, but still it retails at like $100, I believe. So pretty good value for getting that um, in this kit. Here's what it looks like. It is about, let's see, it's about like the size of my hand. So it's a smaller one, which is cool. I know that they have like the really big one. Um, I think this will be good just for every day, like filming YouTube videos and stuff like that. I might want to invest in something bigger if I do something crazy, but yeah, one of the main reasons that I wanted to buy this camera is for the microphone. Um, this camera is a great camera. I have the Panasonic Lumix. I don't remember what model. I'll list it down below though. It's a great camera. I'm going to keep it as a backup and, you know, second shooter. But one of the main reasons that I wanted to get a Rebel is because uh, you cannot connect an external mic to this Lumix. So that's a really big selling point for me. Just sound quality. Like especially right now, the air conditioner is running. Like you can probably hear so much background noise and I just hate how that sounds. So, oh, things are happening. So here's the exciting part. This is definitely heavier than my Lumix. I can just feel. There is the manual. And there is a solution disc in here. Because my computer does not even take discs, I'm pretty sure. We have a camera strap in here. Nice one. This is definitely better than my Lumix. It's nice and thick. So that's awesome. The one, like my Lumix one, is pretty thin and just kind of like not great quality. It kind of starts to hurt when I have it around my neck for too long. So, you know, excited to, to wear this, I guess. I don't know. It's so lame. Then I have this, which I'm not really sure what goes to yet. I'm guessing the adapter or something. Comes with battery charger. This is like a micro USB to USB or something. I don't really know what any of this stuff is. Four. This one will, I guess, connect my camera to my computer, I'm guessing. Then here is the battery pack, and then the lens. So here's the lens. This is just like the kit lens, the 18 to 55 milliliter. That's what it looks like. It's a plastic lens, um, nothing too fancy, plastic lens cap. Um, that's what the lens looks like. Looks pretty similar actually yeah it looks pretty similar to my Lumix I was just holding it next to it. the lens that I'm filming on now is also the kit lens for the Lumix and um, yeah they look pretty similar except for this one's like bigger like um, the diameter of it is bigger so and then it doesn't zoom in as much it looks like 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with this. I don't really know. And then we'll pull out the body. Nothing else important is in there. Alright. Ta-da! So there is... There it is! Um, yeah. This is the camera, the body of it. Um, I'm going to put it all together and then I'll come back and like walk you through the camera a little bit and just kind of explore some of the features quickly. I won't spend too long on this video since it's just the first one, but beer. Okay, I'm back. So I put everything together. This is what it looks like all set up. Definitely compared to my Lumix. Maybe I'll try to film like a comparison video if you guys are interested. I don't know. I think they're both great starter cameras. Well, obviously I haven't used this too much. But these are what I used like when I was in film school a lot in college and everything were the T4 and the T5. I don't know if the T5 was out when I was in college. But anyway, this, the Rebels, is what I use. So yeah, they're good cameras. This is definitely much bigger than the Lumix, like sitting in my hand. And that's the one reason that I got the Lumix instead of the T5i at first is just because, you know, I'm a girl and I have very small hands. So it's kind of going to be a lot to get used to when I'm actually shooting. So yeah, essentially I gotta play around with everything, but um, I'll just walk you through like the features that I wanted and all that stuff. Like I said, this isn't like a review video or anything like that. I'm sure you guys have seen T5i, I just wanted to unbox it for you. So yes, bigger than my Lumix. Um, I just think it's like a little bit better quality just holding it. It's still like a plastic and rubber camera, but it just feels heavier and feels a little bit more secure. Um, even just like the lens is is thicker and just seems like it might be a little bit safer if I were to drop it or something like that. Who knows? I need to get a, um, a UV cover for it though. Um, obviously being a YouTuber I needed this screen, this tilt screen. It does tilt back, you know, you can have it like this way, you can have it halfway, whatever you want. The main way that I film is just like this so I can make sure that I'm in focus and things like that. And then as I mentioned, there is right here, this is where I will connect my microphone and then just place it right on the hot shoe like I had my Rode mic up here. So that's a huge selling point for me. Probably the next video I film will be on this, so I'm interested even more than the the visual quality to see what the audio quality will be like with a microphone. The only other weird thing to me, but weird, weird but good is that the memory card just off the bat I mean I'm sure I'll find other things that I like about it but off the bat the memory card is right here on my Lumix it is in the same place as the battery so it's down here so that's really really annoying because if your memory card gets full while you're filming or you know just whatever you don't want to always have to take it all the way off the tripod and take everything off it's really annoying so this is very convenient that it's just right here i can just easily switch it um so yeah those are the main things and then the lens definitely has some different capabilities um as you can see and here i can choose to auto or manual focus on the lens which is nice um the lumix lens is just your bare bones essential lens I'm not sure what the zoom is like on this though. Um, that's what I was like trying to figure out. Okay, now I can actually see. Um, actually, the zoom is not bad on here. I'm just like looking in the viewfinder. I'm not sure like if you'll be able to see this at all, but I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's technically the same amount as my Lumix, I guess. I don't know why it just seems so much shorter. I don't really know the technology behind that but yeah so that's what that is like um, I've heard the autofocus is pretty good like I said I haven't really played around and actually um, taken any pictures yet besides like the two that I just did so I don't really know yet but that's my unboxing of my new camera I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm excited to be a part of the Canon family actually am I already a part of the Canon family yeah so I have a Vixia as well that's what I use whoa look at this hair though um, the Vixia Mini is what I use for vlogging, so I guess I'm fully a part of the Canon family now. I've converted. Let me know. I know a lot of you guys probably have this camera. Let me know if you have any like tips or tricks for me while I'm exploring it and getting to know it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Like I said, you guys asked for it, so hope it wasn't too boring. I don't really know what I was doing, but yeah.
first unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, probably, on this camera. Bye. <coughs> so dusty. I just, like, have no freaking clue what's happening.